everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gemma and this is A Girl So Geeky. Uh, I know you were expecting a fabric haul or stash update as that's what I said I would do but I've snuck in um, another video. Uh, this is a hashtag uh, so many questions um, which was created by the lovely ladies um, from the sewing vlogger support group on Facebook. This was created by the lovely Melanie of Handmade by Ditsy Tulip um, with the thought that uh, any sewing vloggers um, could join and it's a place where um, not for obviously just not for advertising like our videos whenever we post one it's actually for you know a place where we can sort of share experiences and tips or ask questions and help and um, there's a, there's going to be someone there who maybe has the answer to your question and um, you know we just give each other support um, it's a really wonderful group um, so if you are a sewing vlogger or perhaps want to be one, um, then find the, um, the group on, on Facebook and have a join. Um, that everyone is just really wonderful and supportive. Um, I think there's uh, over a hundred, um, people that have joined now. Um, and it's really amazing. There's constantly, um, sort of tips and tricks on there and I'm learning things like left, right and center. And, um, it's just really nice to be part of it. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my tip for you today is to go ahead and join that group. Um, so yeah, shout out to them. Well done, Melanie. That's a, a really fabulous idea and I'm really enjoying being part of it. Uh, so this hashtag, um, has come about, um, from this group. Uh, a few lovely ladies, I think it was originally um, JJ from the Camden Stitch said she didn't have like an intro um, video, sort of a, a way to tell um, all of her subscribers a bit more about herself. Um, and I think there was a couple of lovely ladies that agreed. Um, Laura from the Specky Seamstress and I think Molly from um, Frock and Mole uh, Sews. Um, uh, said the sort of same sort of thing and they started coming up with up, up with ideas um and in the end i think they posted about or there is about 40 questions that you can choose from um and obviously not expecting to come up with an answer for all of them i think everyone's been picking about 10 but there's there's 40 that you can choose from so they're all sort of different types of questions. Um, I did do, I think it was my first video, I did um, the seamstress tag. So I've steered clear of anything that's similar to that. So these are a little bit off, uh, sort of not just about sewing, they're a little bit off topic, the ones that I've chosen. Um, but, um, so I'm going to answer those in a minute. I've chosen 10 as well, but anyone who, this is open to everyone. If you want to, um, take part in this hashtag, please don't wait to be tagged. Um, just go ahead and create a video. Um, and then if you could tag me or tag one of the other ladies so we can watch it, that would be absolutely fantastic. Um, I'd love to hear, um, what questions you've picked and your answers to them. So it is open to everyone. But obviously we want to get um, the word out of, of this new hashtag. Um, so I have um, picked, uh, I think, about six others as well to um, to carry the torch on, um, which, um, ladies, if you do want to take part, that would be really great. Obviously, even though I've tagged you, I'm not saying that you have to do this. Um, <laughs> um, it's up to you, but it would be fantastic um, to just to hear a bit more about you. Um, so I, um, I am tagging officially um, uh, Tamlin from Sewn on the Time, um, Elisa from The Happy Hive, uh, Megan Sullivan, um, her, that's the name of her channel as well. Um, Boz from The Fabric Magpie. Um, I'd like to tag, this, this is a group, but as one, um, Louise, Barbara and Lisa from The Pattern Pals and Emma from The Zipperfoot. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm tagging you, but obviously it's up to you if you want to, to go ahead with this hashtag and to create a video. But if you do, please tag me in it so I can watch it. Um, I would really love to see uh, what questions you pick. Um, so, but as I said, it is open to everyone. So uh, if you want to have a go, then please, please do. Um, we would love for you to join in. 
Um, but I'm going to go ahead uh, with my questions. So question number one. Uh, so when I'm not sewing, I am trying to try out different hobbies, although at the moment I um, haven't been doing so many. Um, I used to do archery. Um, that was probably one of the main hobbies um, that I had taken up. Um, I don't do that so much anymore. Um, I did it for a few years and I've just... I want to try some more things I would love you know I might go back to it like in the summer depending on where um, where they go because uh, they have a few different venues um, but yeah at the moment that's taken a bit of a back burner but I really did love it uh, more recently I've been um, dancing so I've been trying Lindy Hop dancing um, I started it um, a bit last year uh, going to a couple of classes in Chichester and then this year um, there's been something much more local, which I've done a couple of courses on, uh, four weeks at a time. Um, and there's one due to start soon, but I've been on an iron brother to, to do this one as well. I probably will, um, just because it's the, it's a social aspect as well. It's really nice to sort of meet other people who also enjoy dancing, perhaps other things as well. Um, so that's great. Um, I'm an avid reader, um, more fiction. Um, I, yeah, I do love a good book. I have been finding though, if I want to sew, if I've got like projects that I actually want to get on with, um, I can't read. I need to not be in the middle of a book because I I really immerse myself when I'm in a book and that's all I do. Um, so <laughs> it's got to the point where it's one or the other at the moment. Um, I also love to obviously hang out with my friends and family. Um, I would love to get back into fitness. I used to um, either go to the gym a lot. I also did a uh, community gym. It's called Good Gym. Um, you actually don't go to a gym, but it's just running. Um, and then you go and do like a community sort of charity work or something, something for the community. Um, but I stopped that when I broke my foot. Um, but I'd love to get back into that because I just, wow. <laughs> I was going to say I just got to the point where I was like getting good at running, but I, I wasn't really. <laughs> I was still struggling, but I want to get to a point where I'm sort of fairly good at it. I, I'm not expecting to be like doing mar marathons and races and stuff, but I'd like to be able to sort of jog or run a distance where I can be like, that hasn't killed me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I definitely need to get back into exercise. I'm, I'm, I am actually missing it, which is really odd. I think I just miss the endorphins. Um... But I think that's actually it. I mean, anything crafty, I'm happy to try. Um, I've tried a few other hobbies um, that haven't really gone far. I tried um, like sword fighting, <laughs> which was really which was the oddest evening of my life, but it, it was funny. Um, potentially going to try fencing in the summer. Um, yeah, I'm to be honest, I'd, I'd love, to, love to try a bit of anything and everything. Sorry if you can hear squeaking. My chair needs a bit of WD-40, but I haven't got round to it. <laughs> bit DIY as well perhaps um I don't think my style has changed dramatically I think I'm just a bit more thoughtful about it um to be honest I'm finding that it's just ever evolving and growing um I've always got quite stuck into a uh, my style is whatever I can afford rather than what I like or and enjoy wearing and what I think suits me um, and I find it really hard to get out of that I've just got into a bit of a rut and a bit of a an easy sort of that'll do sort of attitude um, so I definitely need want to get out of that um, but I'm finding that that's where sewing is helping me because I actually get to choose um, what it is that I'm making so I'm sort of considering you know do I actually like this okay yes I do and so what fabric do I want? You know, is this a colour I like? Is this a, a pattern I like? Or, you know, things like that. Um, I am actually planning to do um, some segments on my channel about my style. Because um, I used to have this massive Pinterest board um, of, of styles and clothing that I really loved. Um, and I've gone through it again. And I, to be honest, I've just scrapped it and started from scratch. Because it's just, I feel so different about it now. Um, so I'm definitely going to do um, some segments on my channel about my style and just sort of how it's evolving because I think I've always also had in mind that okay well that's your style so that's what you stick to and I, I don't it's just not right you know I think style is so eclectic and different for everyone that you know you don't have to be one particular thing you may want to wear sort of 
goth grunge one day and like um fit and flair 50s the next day you know you can be whatever you want and as interchangeable as you want so yeah i i think it's just it's helping me think about it and consider it and be a bit more thoughtful about my style and try and you know it's helping me find out what i like what brings me joy so much as style so yeah did that answer it Um, my stash isn't massive, um, I, but it's okay. It's manageable. Uh, there's plenty in there for me to work towards. I don't. I haven't got space to get to the point where I. It's just coming out of my ears. Um, I'd like to have a bit more variety. Um, I think I've got a lot more wovens than I have jerseys. I'd love to have a bit more variety, and I think I've got way more patterns than I've got planes. Um, so I'd love to get some plain fabrics in there. I'd love to get some more sort of jersey and knit fabrics, both plain and patterned. Um, I will spin you around and I'll, I'll show you what I've got. <laughs> okay, um, this is a quick view at my stash. Um, no judgments about my <laughs> cupboard of doom, please. Um, this is just a little inbuilt cupboard um, in my bedroom um, that I keep a lot of my sewing supplies and my stash um it is a bit of a mess um i had a <laughs> i have wallpapered some of it um some of it not so much i just stuck up some scrap so <laughs> you'll have to excuse that uh at the top is just where i keep um a lot of my patterns like my pdfs and some walls and stuff um but down here is um is the good stuff um so i've got some bags of um projects that are cut out or cut out and ready and waiting um, so I'm just going to remove those, uh, although actually under there is just the extra fabric I've got of my um, sewing ball, uh, sewing ball, dressmaker's ball um, fabric. So actually I'm going to leave that there, that's all that that is. Um, and then that's the coat that I'm going to make, which is cut and ready to go. Um, so I've got some fabrics in the middle here. Um, so uh, this is what I got from Ikea. Um, some jersey there, um, which I got from Sharon when I did the um, sort of sew and weekender, like our version. Um, another um, sort of project ready to cut out. Um, that's some more pink jersey that I got um, from Sharon for the sew and weekender. Um, I'm planning to do a, a Mandy boat tee, um, and I think I'm going to use that to practice the Scirocco, um, tr like just the trouser part of the Deer and Doe jumpsuit. Um, I've got some polka dot jersey here. This was a promotional gift from Girl Charlie. Um, I was thinking of making a dress, but it's quite thin, so that might end up being a Mandy boat tee as well um then i've got some denim there this was actually a denim dress um but there is a denim dress sorry so that's going to be repurposed hopefully um into uh this the jessica dress by mimi g um, and then i've got the other two um bits of fabric that i also got from fabric land um i'm not going to go through this part this is not really fabrics this is just items that either need repair um, or I've got some or they're sort of projects that I've started that I don't really think are going to work so they're waiting to be repurposed into something else um, and yeah and another um, denim dress which will either go towards the uh, Jessica dress or it'll be something else um, yeah so this is just can't yet yeah, I guess this is just stuff that's waiting to be either fixed or repurposed um so I'm just waiting for like the right projects to come up um so yeah that's what that is um so my main bulk of my stash is in this drawer see I really don't have that much of it you know much of a stash um I've got um this is just some leftover fabric of uh, from Minerva Crafts. It's a blog post that I've just done for them, or just in the process. Um, I've got some fabric here. This is a sort of African wax print type fabric. Um, some more like little bits of jersey. Um, and then at the bottom there is the blanket that I got from Ikea as well. Um, that I'm planning to make probably like a jumper um that's some more plain um 
sort of pale jer a pale pink jersey that I uh, got from Sharon as well. She got me a few pieces. Uh, this is a small um, sort of off cut off cut piece that I got from uh, Sarah at Like So Amazing when she was doing a D stash. Um, and then a lot of these pieces are just like off cuts. Um, so you can see I've got a bit of my um, the sort of skulls fabric. And um, this is of a project that I'm still in the middle of making some trousers. Um, and then, yeah, most of this is just like off cuts. Uh, I don't know if there's enough to make like full pieces of clothing, but I'm certainly going to have a go um, or try. Um, and then of some of these down here, like the ones that I've had for a while, like those were curtains. That's a bed sheet. That's a bed sheet. Um, these are bed sheets, but I think some of that is the off cuts as well. Um, so yeah, there isn't really that much to my stash and a lot of it, as you can see, is has been earmarked for things. Um, I have this section here. This is what I'm going to be doing um, like my fabric haul about. Like I'll do a video to show you like my update of my stash and haul. Um, so that will be added to all of this. Um, but yeah, so that that is really my my stash. Um, and as to be honest, as you can see, I don't really, oh God, look at that. Uh, I don't really have room for much more, unfortunately. Um, I'm hoping one day, um, when I've got my own place, I can have like, I can dedicate like a whole wardrobe cupboard type thing, uh, to it. So fingers crossed that day will happen sooner, sooner rather than later. And I can just shop all the fabric to my heart's content. But yeah, so there you go. Next question. Um, I'm a bit of both. Um, coffee, I always have a coffee first thing in the morning as I'm getting ready for work. I'll whack the kettle on before I get in the shower and then um, drink a cup of coffee while I'm getting ready. Um, and then when I'm at work, um, it just depends how I feel. It's probably more often tea, um, although if I'm feeling a bit tired which is more often than not um i'll have a coffee as well i don't drink a lot of tea and coffee during the day and i don't really tend to drink it past four o'clock um i struggle to sleep it as it as it is so i don't need any extra caffeine rushing around my system um not that i feel that it affects me greatly but the fact that i can feel it when i haven't been drinking tea or coffee for a while and um, when i hurt my foot i didn't drink any because i i didn't want to keep asking people to make me drinks and obviously i couldn't go and get it myself um and then i i was like oh my god i'm so tired like i really am shattered why do i feel like this and then it was just caffeine withdrawal <laughs> so it obviously does affect me a bit but um but yeah so I do love them both um, I'm starting to try and drink some more herbal teas as well like I really like mint tea um, and I think I've got a mixed berry one as well um, just to sort of mix it up a bit but yeah so I'm I yeah I think it's both it's just both <laughs> ice cream definitely ice cream um yeah ice lollies are fine you know if it's a really hot summer's day and no ice cream i don't care <laughs> it's ice cream ice cream is my kryptonite you can keep your chocolate you can keep your crisps ice cream will win out every time for me um and i mean i i am quite a plain jane i'm a very vanilla person uh, you know i don't like hot and spicy foods and um really intense sort of stuff i'm i like plainer stuff you know vanilla strawberry i don't really like chocolate ice cream i i'm not so keen on that but um like do you know uh if you haven't tr ever tried at the um the magnum pots <sighs> they've got like they're covered like with chocolate around the um tub and there's a thick layer of chocolate on the top that and there's like chocolate in the middle and you can white chocolate's my favorite but there's also like a milk chocolate and almond and you just crack it oh my god it's so amazing uh, I love a Mr. Whippy. Oh, Mr. Whippy. Um, there's a peanut butter Hagen dazs Oh my god! Well, the first time I tried that, I was just like, oh, "Drool!" Ice cream. I think I've made that a little bit clear. <sighs> Dream job. Um, this is something that I think about all the time. Um dream job stroke what's 
realistic for me to have as a job. <laughs> Dream job, I would love to work with animals. I would absolutely love it, but then doesn't everyone. So it's really hard to get into, I find. It's really hard to get into because I just, I imagine people get into the job and they never leave it because they love it. Um, I'm obviously not qualified to be like a vet or a veterinary nurse. Um, I could do like the reception or um, they do sort of reception stroke carer. So like, you know, obviously, cleaning them and feeding them, checking their robs when they've come out of operations and stuff. I could totally do all that, um, but there is just nothing like that in my local area. If you are a veterinary practice in Portsmouth, I'm your girl, full time please. Give me a job. <laughs> um, apart from that, as a more general overview, I'd like to do, I'd love to do something where I feel that I am helping and making a difference. It sounds really cliche, but that's my idea of job satisfaction, is feeling like I'm making a difference um, to someone. I mean, I feel like veterinary care does cover that. Obviously, you know, it's a, a time of, of need to people that, you know, they're bringing their fur babies to you, you know, because they're poorly or something. Um, so, you know, you're, you're there to help. Um, a couple of other um, avenues I had considered as being part of this um, sort of path uh, was like careers advisor. They were rubbish when I was at school. There was no such real thing as careers advisor. It's just look on Google, see what you can find. Um, so I love the idea of like, you know, helping people, not necessarily just at school, even adults, you know, because I... I am I struggle with the, an idea of a career who knows what that is I never knew what I want to do when I grow up I'm mostly grown up I still don't know what I want to do so I would love to be able to help people in that situation I think that would be you know pretty good um and also this is a little bit odd but um in funeral services not so much with the actual deceased person but the arranging of the funeral or um you know like the chapel of rest um i just feel it, it you know it's another major moment in people's lives is obviously when they have have you know a loved one that's passed um and you know to what a, you know what a feeling to be there for them as a support um you know at that time um but again nothing really in my local area so i'm kind of thinking i have to scrap those and think of another idea for a career <laughs> Any hints, tips, suggestions will be really welcome. I really would love to say my spirit animal would be like a dragon or a tiger or something like amazing like that. I do have a tattoo of a tiger. Um, so I guess that's kind of my spirit animal. I feel that parts of me are, you know, I can be ferocious, you know under my breath <laughs> um and I just think they're amazing but more realistically it's probably a house cat or a sloth <laughs> I see the resemblance <laughs> what about a gym potato I think that's more me I want to get back I used to go to the gym a lot I'd like to get back to the gym, but I just always resemble a potato. <laughs> yeah, never quite get away from uh, that physique. It's, and I do love potato, to be honest, it's my favourite food. It's just a, I've just flung in another answer for you that didn't have a question. Potato is my favourite food. Probably so much that I do now I just resemble one. I'm going with gym potato. planner I'm definitely a planner um I love lists lists are my favorite thing in the whole world um and I actually get not anxious but like on edge if I haven't written a list in a while it just makes me feel so much better and like ticking it off I'll make if I've got nothing to list I'll just list you know just write a quick shopping list things I need to do when I get home or just in life anything I'm definitely a planner um I think as much as I love the idea of being spontaneous and I'd love to pretend that I'm spontaneous because it seems so cool and you know really like that's how you know non-boring um 
sometimes spon spontaneity just makes me a bit anxious um i like to know things in advance i like to be able to plan things you know i like to know you know where i'm going what i'm doing what's happening um planning for sure um that's also i mean i think also goes with that is that i'm an instruction follower if i bring this back to sewing i like the i love sewing because i like following instructions like with lego um sorry i'm just going all over the place with lego i can make all these different you know all these amazing things if it's the ones that come with instructions um but when i was me and my brother used to i used to play with his lego um and he'd make all these amazing things just out of his head and i'd be like there's a board there's some wheels that's my car because <laughs> i just don't yeah i just don't have the imagination for that so i find that with sewing um when it I see people make all these amazing hacks and they, you know, they put all these mash this thing with that thing. And I'm just like, oh, that's not the instructions though. <laughs> yeah. So I find it hard to get my brain to, to root that way. Yeah. Plans are the way. I think the one piece of advice I would give myself is just do it. Don't wait to have all of the um, equipment that you think that you need. You don't need it all. You've got a sewing machine. You've got some fabric. You can make a garment. Just do it. Don't wait to be perfect. What is perfect? No such thing. Just do it. Oh, yeah. I... I still find myself that I do it now. I think that's why I procrastinate a lot is because I'm like, oh yeah, but it might not turn out well or this might go wrong or la 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 la. Just do it. Just do it. If you mess up, so what? That's what mistakes are for, for learning. Just do it. If you are new to sewing or if you want to try but you just haven't yet, just do it. What is the worst that can happen? Start with some cheap fabric. If it goes wrong, Use it as scrap for something else. Gift it on, whatever you want, just do it. Well, that is my 10 questions. I'm pretty sure, sorry, I have got them written down in my trusty scrapbook, which I've yet to actually use. I've just why I've picked a page at the back because I'm like, I will want to use this one day. Um, I'm pretty sure I answered all of those. I'm sure I did. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that is my uh, 10 questions. I'm going to leave the whole list of all 40 questions down below. Um, so if you want to take part, choose from those and make sure to copy and paste the whole list um, into your comments box on your video as well, just so that the next person um, can also find the information. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed learning a bit more about me. Um, you know, something that's just not about just sewing. Um, that's why I thought I would uh, choose some different ones. Um, I've actually quite enjoyed answering these. They're good fun. Uh, so yeah, that's it for me today. Please, um, if you want to, do take part. It really is good fun. Um, and it's just nice to get to know each other a little bit more, um, you know, in a, a different way. Um, so yeah, please take part. Um, but no pressure, obviously, it's up to you. Um, but yeah, that is, that's mine done. My hashtag, so many questions, um, is now complete. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Um, if you liked the video, uh, please hit the thumbs up and give me a like. Um, you can also subscribe um, and then that way you'll be able to watch all my other videos. Well, you can anyway, but you'll be able to keep up to date with them. And if you tap the bell, um, you'll get notifications for when I do post. And that at the moment seems to be happening with some regularity. It's amazing. Okay, well, that's it for me. Um, until next time, see you later. Bye. Bye.